How you doing? <clears throat> well, I look all dressed up, don't I? I thought I'd dress up my grandmother. I went to go see her grave today. And my grandfather. Who I never really knew. He died when I was two. So I never really bonded with him. But I do miss my grandmother. She was very strong. She was the she was the matriarch of the family. She was the one that dished out the punishment to the boys. Give them the switch. It sounds harsh, but yeah. I mean, I got it too when I was little. But that one was all about love. She just didn't want anybody doing wrong. She lived old school. Watsonville. I went by the, uh, my grandparents' ranch, my, my mother's parents. That's all. That was a sad state. Saw my great grandmother and grandfather's home. Some guy was living there. I talked to him for a minute. He's like, yeah, it's really peaceful and quiet here. <laughs> nice. Looks like it was all chopped up and different people owned different parts of it. So. The idea of getting the family far back is probably not going to be happening for me right now. Uh, I was hoping that maybe that it wasn't occupied. I could see about renting it out or buying it. But I guess sometimes you can't go home <laughs> again. <laughs> That irrigation job I did a couple of years ago really gave me the farming bug again. I didn't think I ever had that in me. I just had the, I just had the desire to play with soil and grow things. I still do. I'm just poor, so getting the land's going to be a tough one, right? See, it would have been nice to have the old family farm, but... Anyway, I need to go find a place to stay tonight. Boondocking's fun. Can't fifty dollars for a tent campsite on the coast. KOA camping. The security guard at the place was awesome. He let his name was Ron. He let me actually take a shower, which was pretty cool. He was like, "I'm security. Just go in there and take care of it. Buy something from the store. They like a little general store there. So I bought some ice and then took a shower." So I was very presentable to see my grandmother. It was nice. I appreciated that. So now I need to go find a place for the night. Hopefully I can find a campground. Then. It's not ridiculously expensive. So I'm just boondocking it and hope they don't kick me out. Right? We'll see. I don't know. California's just twisted. I think any cop that enforces these no parking is a horrible human being. They should just let that shit go. If you're not doing anything wrong, you're not starting fires, throwing out trash, Building the foundation, they should just let you sleep and let it go. But what are you going to do, right? Anyway, I love you guys, and God the universe love you. It's going to be okay. Just a little tired. It's, it's, it's an interesting phenomenon when you have no idea where you're going. I'm blind. I'm flying blind. No destination. It's all about the journey, babe. <laughs> I hope it's a good one. Anyway, I want you to have a wonderful day. Uh, love and light. Hopefully this video turns out really good. I love you. The universe loves you. And yeah, I want you to have a wonderful day and love yourself because you're worthy. And that's the first step on your glow up to being the empress or emperor. Trust me. I'm still working on being the emperor of the universe, but I'm damn near there. Still not done healing though. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I love you. God and the universe love you. And walk in the light, baby. Keep on keeping on. Okay, bye.